Clone Audi BCM2 module easily with Zorce Multiprog and Keytool Plus step-by-step -step guide. Hey everyone, this is Usain, and welcome back to Bobji Motors, your ultimate hub for everything related to automobile diagnostics, ECU programming, and advanced key tools. Today, we're diving deep into a question that many Audi enthusiasts and technicians have been asking. Is it really possible to clone an Audi BCM2 module using Zorce Multiprog or VVDI Keytool Plus? Before we get started, a quick disclaimer. This video is purely for educational and informational purposes. Everything you see here is meant to guide technicians, learners, and car enthusiasts safely. We strictly follow fair use guidelines. Any images, clips, or references are only for review and education. All trademarks belong to their respective owners. And always make sure you follow manufacturer instructions and local regulations when working on vehicles. Stick with me till the end because I'll share a unique trick for cloning encrypted BCM2 modules that can save you hours in the workshop. Now let's break it down. So, can you clone an Audi BCM2 module with a Zorce Multiprog or VVDI Key Tool Plus? The short answer is yes, but it comes with some important details you need to know. First, let's talk about the hardware. If you're still using the old Audi BCM2 adapter, the one with the yellow power adapter, here's the bad news. It cannot read the full EEPROM and flash data. That means cloning won't work properly with the old version. But there's good news. The newest BCM2 adapter V2 can handle it all. With this upgraded adapter, you can successfully read and write both the EEPROM and flash data, which is exactly what's needed for cloning. Now, let's split it into two main scenarios. Scenario 1. Unencrypted BCM2 modules. If your Audi BCM2 module is not encrypted, cloning is straightforward. All you need to do is read and write both the EEPROM and flash. That's it. Once you have successfully read the data, you can write it to the new module, provided the new module has the same hardware version as the original. This process allows you to duplicate the module's functions perfectly, including all the vehicle's settings and configurations. Think of it as creating a carbon copy of your BCM2 module, ready to drop into a donor car or reuse in the same vehicle. Scenario 2. Encrypted BCM2 Modules Encrypted modules are a bit trickier, but here's the professional tip. First, make sure both the old and donor modules have the same hardware version. Start by reading two sets of data from the original BCM2 module using the multiprog. These are data 1 and data 2. Once you have both files, load them into the VVDI Keytool Plus. The tool will calculate and generate two important files, the service file and the key, MO, file. Now, all you need to do is write the service file into your new or reused BCM2 module. And just like that, your encrypted module is cloned and ready to use. This method has been tested and works reliably saving technicians the frustration of dealing with module locks or errors. To give you a practical example, imagine you have a 2018 Audi A4 with a malfunctioning BCM2 module. With the new V2 adapter and these steps, you could clone the original module to a new one without triggering any security errors or losing vehicle settings. This approach ensures the car starts, all electronic systems work, and the immobilizer remains fully functional. One important note, always double check the hardware version before cloning. Using modules with different hardware versions can cause errors. And in some cases, the clone module may not function at all. Attention to detail here will save hours of troubleshooting later. So what's the answer to our intro question? Yes, you can clone an Audi BCM2 module using Zorce Multiprog or VVDI Keytool Plus but the key is having the latest V2 adapter and following the correct steps for unencrypted or encrypted modules. Personally, I think this process is a game changer for workshops. It's efficient, reliable, and reduces the risk of errors when dealing with complex BCM2 electronics. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you tried cloning a BCM2 module yourself? Or do you have a tip that worked better for you? Drop your experiences in the comments. Let's share knowledge and learn from each other. Here's a fun fact. The BCM2 module controls dozens of car functions beyond just keys and locks, including lighting, comfort settings, and alarm systems. 
So cloning it correctly is more than just duplicating a key. It's duplicating the brain of your vehicle. And now, for a final call to action. Help us hit our challenge. 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments. Hyping this video and subscribing to Bob G Motors supports us and helps bring more advanced tutorials straight to you. Remember, every like and comment fuels this community and keeps these detail guides coming. Thanks for sticking till the end. And as always, keep learning, keep exploring, and happy diagnosing.